A creative dream team is bringing Anastasia to the Broadway stage. We're here at New 42nd Street Studios to meet the stars and find out more. I think every girl on Broadway wanted to play Anastasia, and oh my god, you're Anastasia. How do you feel? So grateful, so blessed, so lucky, and so honored to get to play this role. It's a beautiful, beautiful part that gets to have this incredible journey, but in, in all honesty, journey. She starts from a street sweeper and ends up, I don't know where she ends up, somewhere. It's kind of surreal. I mean, this is like the Frozen of my generation, getting to hear these songs and and how big they blew up in the 90s. And, and now to be playing this iconic character and giving him voice through song that he didn't really have in the movie because all of his music that they've written for this is, is new. And it's been a privilege and an honor and definitely like a bucket list experience. It feels like everyone is really committed to making this show fantastic. It feels like it's really going to be a big Broadway musical. I honestly believe that. And why I believe that too is like, as much as obviously creatives and as a cast, you want it to be part of something successful because we truly believe in the, the book and story. I feel like there's a, so much support from the fans already that they're dying to see it. At Hartford, they were like, there'll be a few people at the stage door every night. Hundreds. I'm not kidding. Every night we call them Harper. We call them Fanastasias, and they're wonderful. They are our friends. They're wonderful. It hit that demographic at a time when they were growing up. So now they are a fan base that is to be reckoned with. What about this show got you to New York and made you want to sort of say, I'm going to be in New York for a while and do Anastasia? What do you love about it? I think it's just the team. To be honest with you, working with Darko, you know, such a classy director, and Stephen and Lynn's music is just, it's just stunning. And all the new songs they've written, you just can't believe, you know, how beautiful it is. And also, uh, you know, Terence, I mean, God, Terence McNally. I just feel like I've, you know, landed in this amazing land of Anastasia, working with you know, the people at the top of their game. Did you just put all these names on a board and dream that you would get to work with them? Yes. Yeah, I'm living like the theater fan's dream because in addition to being so lucky and getting to work in theater, I continue to be that 15-year-old who had all the cast albums alphabetized, you know, and, and to get to work with the names that I would read and, and, and just wish I could be a part of something like this. And here I am, thrilled. You already have a, a trunk of great songs for this show, but then we just got to see some new songs, and every one of them is a winner. It sounds like you guys are not getting lazy. Thank that, you. That's what we wanted to do today, because everybody knows the songs they from the movie, the and, song. and, and we said, let's do nothing but songs nobody has ever heard of. That's right. And so... Uh, and there are tons of them. I mean, yeah. we really wrote a new score, and all of the songs that you're familiar with, ha uh, and there are not that many of them, I think there are four or five, they are all either completely rewritten or completely reconfigured or in a new place. So there, it's really, you know, very, very brand new score. I love singing her music. It just, it sings, you know, it's so, I don't want to say easy to sing, but it's so, the lyrics and melodies go hand in hand so well that you just, you can't help but just to join in. What about this story do you think will make a beautiful Broadway musical? It's a family entertainment and very few things actually are, but the show opens with a little girl, seven years old, and her grandmother, and there's something for every age group in between. And it's not done because we're pandering. That's the story. It's just effortlessly in there. I love um, that there's a little bit for everyone. You know, there's the history of the Romanoff family, which is a real story that actually happened. And for young kids, it's, it's this beautiful mystery story about a young woman coming into her own and discovering things about her past. I think it's the closest thing we have to a modern fairy tale that really happened, but we've been able to mythologize. To bring those historical elements to life on stage and really educate people while also telling this timeless, fairy tale romance, beautiful, beautiful musical. It's been very fun to create and explore. It's a hopeful story, genuinely hopeful story, improbably hopeful, but we need those right now. We're on our way. 